Mom. Mom. Mommy. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, we're going to bring you the devotional this evening. And so, are you ready? Let's get started. Okay. Um, so, it's almost a new year, and it's about time to start again and kind of put back um, the things that have happened this year and kind of focus on something new and what's going on. So, I want to share with you one of my favorite verses, which is Romans 8, 28. And it says, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. So a new year and a new perspective for me, something that I've been trying a lot harder to do um, and to be better at in my prayer life is actually proclaiming the name of Jesus and putting more faith into what God is, is going to do for me. And so I think something different when I was reading in Romans 8, 28, since I know this verse, it's one of my favorites, but I kind of pulled something else out of it. The last part, um, those who have been called, those who have been called according to his purpose and those who have been called according to his purpose are us born again believers. Those who have been saved, that we have been called to do more for Jesus and to do more for his kingdom. And so in this coming year, um, I'm trying harder to, to proclaim the name of, of Christ and what he is, is going to do over my life because there is power in the name of Jesus. I was reading a devotional and I really liked um, this, this quote that they had from it. Ready? It said, the power and authority of the name of Jesus belongs to you as a born again Christian and he expects us to use it. So the name of Jesus is powerful. We sing a song um, and praise band with that all the time. It's, it's one of my favorites. I lost her. And um, when looking at the scripture where it's coming from, um, Mark 16, mommy, baby, 17 mommy, through 18. Mommy, mommy, where am I, where am I in my book? I don't know. Here, sit with mommy and read this. In Mark 16, 17 through 18, it's right when Jesus um, appears himself to his disciples and um, is about ready to ascend back into heaven. And he's telling him what they need to do to go around the world um, and to proclaim uh, his righteousness in his name. And in Mark 16, 17 through 18, he tells his disciples what to do. And he begins by saying, in my name, you will go and, and you know, take out demons and you will, um, you know, pull out serpents and all those things that the scripture says, but it says in my name. And so when, when we pray here at, at home and when we, um, have hardships or when, you know, we're, we're trying to, um, teach the kids, you know, a healthy prayer life or the things that maybe we're desiring, whether it's, um, we need help financially or we need help, um, getting through a situation or, um, there's illness or anything like that. Um, I'm going to start proclaiming the name of Jesus more and actually believing I can say in Jesus name, but if I don't fully put my faith into, yes, Jesus is going to do this for my good. Going back to Romans 8, 28, for my good. He's going to work out everything for my good, whether if what I'm praying is what he really wants for me or not, it's all for my good because that's what he says. For those who are called by according to him and those who um, are born again Christians, we have the the ability now to use his name as our as our weapon, as our shield, as our force to really pro proclaim what he wants for our lives. And so as you enter in the new year, um, as we're entering in 2021, there's a lot of things that we can probably proclaim. There's a lot of uh, things that we can put more faith into. And I just hope that you will join me in your prayer life and how you speak to others and how you talk to others that um, you're going to proclaim Jesus' name in this new year. Have a happy new year, and I hope to see you all very soon. Um, have a have a have a great day, guys. Bye. Mommy.